people. That's most people's logic. They don't actually know what the deeper meaning is. That's how they trick you. That's how the devil tricks you. The paragons of Christian entrepreneurs and family values right next to the satanic designs. So you're promoting sexual, prideful thing for children. Get rid of the kid sh that doesn't belong in here. That's coming to an end. Putting out that woke tard stuff. Hope you stay strapped because we are in the middle of a hot culture war and we're winning. Another update on Ethan Schmidt. So basically what he does is he goes around to like retail spaces and harasses employees and talks to them about how he thinks that gay people are Satan. So do you support this satanic propaganda? And gets kicked out. Calling security. Oh, call security. Please do. And he thinks that's a W. He's going there looking for the current pride collection that everyone's been talking about. So let's just watch him take a classic Ethan Schmidt W right here. Ethan Schmidt inside Target. Inside Target. I'm inside Target and there's nothing you can do about it. Hey, what do you guys think about this right here? Queer, what do you think about that? It's just a uh, speak up of whatever, you know. Isn't that stupid? To... What? I think you're queer, voice. man. Isn't that stupid, man? I think you're queer. I know, it doesn't bother me. Wait, do you hear the dude in the fucking scooter? I think you're queer, man. I think you're queer, voice. man. <laughs> It doesn't bother you. I did. I, you know, like this shit. What about like the little kids? See that? That's like for little kids, like the, the pride. Yeah, a rainbow skirt. Man, what do you think about that? What about that? Does that bother you for little kids? No, because, you know, I grew up on, my little sister grew up uh, rainbow bright. And my little pony. <laughs> Exactly, dude. Philia, though, because you know what it stands for, oh, right? Oh, yeah, pedophilia. You know what is it stands for? Is there an under, oh. undertone? Wait, what? This guy is a mixed bag. I don't know, man. I don't know. I didn't know it was about that thing, though. Yeah, because it's about uh, gay pride. That's what the rainbow stands for. Yeah. Yeah. Gay pride? That's what the rainbow stands for. Pedophilia. Right. How is this guy like, oh, that makes sense. So, like, when they have, like, when they have it for little kids, don't you think that's too much? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Are you kidding? He was convinced in real time by this? I have to watch that again. My little pony. You, you don't think that's like pedophilia though? Because you know what it stands for? You don't think that's like pedophilia though? Okay, so Ethan says the word pedophilia first. So he goes, oh man, oh that's scary. I don't like pedophilia. You know what it stands for? Is there under oh. undertone? Then he asks, is there undertones? Yeah, because it's a... Oh, yeah. Okay, Ethan then says yes, because it's a... So he's just scared of pedophiles, like of supporting pedophiles. That's the entire way this shit operates. Pedophile and grooming are said and have nothing to do with anything but scares people. Yeah, and then they're just like, oh, I guess I I can't support that. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's most people's logic. They don't actually know what the deeper meaning is. That's how they trick you. That's how the devil tricks you. It's a member of this... Target store, you are no longer welcome in that store, and you know that. I'm not? Yeah. Nobody told me. Yeah. What am I yeah. what am I famous or something? Yeah. Oh my god, see he thinks this is a W. They recognize me. They know I'm the band guy. Ethan Schmidt famous at Target. All right, so I already exposed I already exposed your pride here, so Oh my god. I already exposed you, bro. He's just trying his hardest to be an Alex Stein. I asked some people about it. They, they don't like it, so gotcha. So you could please read the story would be great. For sure. Thank you, sir. Anti-maskers club, Ethan Schmidt, famous. Yeah, I'm so famous that I was just escorted out by paparazzi. Oh my God. I wish we had the rest of that clip, man. I want to hear him talking about how famous he is. Oh, <laughs> wait, is this him? That kind of looks like him, but it also kind of doesn't. No, I'm not scrolling down any further. You, you were too horny. Besides Ethan Schmidt, the target rot continues. You'd think it would be done. Here's this guy freaking out in target. Memorial Day weekend. Where is the display 
supporting and showing homage to a men and women at a military. There's nothing. There's a couple of little made in China patriotic pieces of shit here. Where's that? Uh, last week was cop week. <laughs> Imagine having cops supporting fashion. What the fuck? That would be so. <laughs> Like, they're now obliged to just follow the calendar of every theme. Did we put a display up support, supporting our police? No, we didn't. Target, <clears throat> what about November? He's just yelling at the clothes. He's just yelling at the clothes. No one is standing here. <laughs> Look at him when the camera turns and you can see it's just him screaming at the clothes. No, we didn't. Target. <clears throat> What about November? In November, do we get a uh, veterans display that says proud to be a veteran? No, we do not. Who is supposed to answer him right now? Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, I'm uh... This guy, I guess. <laughs> this poor guy. Yeah, I'm uh... I don't need to scream, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I just talk loud. Yeah. I hope that corporate is watching I just, this. I, just, I hope that corporate is watching this. Does he have like prosthetics in his eyes that like transmit his point of view to corporate? This is bullshit. No problem with the pride section. Take the kids out of it. That's what you have to do. Get rid of the kids shit that doesn't belong in here. You cater to four. 0.1%. Sorry, I just talk loud. And 99% of us buy this shit in this store but that's coming to an end <laughs> did you hear how he said that that's coming to an end to an end he's making the baby cry corporate better change their fucking ways keep it up they're listening right now corporate's in the room with us that's all right you want to call the cops i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine i'll be i'll be doing whatever the fuck i want fucking bullshit Shame on you people going in here. You people complain. Who's complaining? They just want to go get their groceries, man. Oh, dude. Here's Benny Johnson doing some doing some more Target outrage. Okay, so I am here at Target in Tampa, Florida. Just walked into the door. You've heard that there's a backlash and that Target's made some real changes uh, to their very aggressive pride display uh, this year. And you have been lied to actually it said some stores did he just drive to a location where he knew they would have it to put it up and be like look they lied to you they actually didn't take it down at all there you go there's your little little toddler mannequin and it gets better check this out so uh they've also have plenty of toddler gear plenty of onesies for this one, it just kills me, man, because it's literally just like cute bunnies, a palm tree, a bear. You got like some hearts with rainbows in them, a sun. Like, it's just cute, man. And they're like, look at this grooming as if a kid sees this and then they just see like penises coming. 12 months, that's what that is. And then they have this designer. See that? Right, we belong everywhere. Dude, you can interpret that however you please, man. See that? This is designed by the now- Look at this guy. Who's this guy? This guy's watching him. This is designed by the now- This guy's got his eye on him. <laughs> Yo, look at the eyebrow incline on him, dude. <laughs> he sees him. Now, I've been asking, uh, how close is this giant display, which is at the front of the store, how close is this to the Joanna Gaines section? She's a Christian who has Christian moral values uh, that she wishes to uphold and fam built her entire brand on family values. You see, I've just taken like probably 10 steps from the display and here we are. So? What? They need to have more respect for her. Get her further away. Put her where no one can see her. So here you go. There they are. There they are. The uh, Paragons. The Paragons. Have any of you guys heard of these people before? The Paragons of Christian entrepreneurs and family values right next to the satanic designs inside of the pride display in Target. That they've been lying to you about. So there you go, Joanna. She's literally, look at that. She's looking. <laughs> She's looking at Satan right in the eyes. She's looking Satan right in the face. You have a right to run a business. You have a right to make your own choices as a store. And we, the consumers, also have our own rights 
And so if you support this, if you support them putting clothes on toddler mannequins and then putting this next to Joanna Gaines, I really question you. All right, here we go, dude. We got Pete Santilli talking to someone. Are but you a manager? I am, yes. What does that say? She what? What is that? The, the, these are the pronouns that I use. Pronouns yes. that you use? Yes. Why are you doing this? Dude, what? She's working her shift. Why are you doing this? The What's the definition of a woman? What is the definition of a woman? Why are you doing this? Sir. What is the definition sir, of a woman? Sir, if you're going to be harassing our it's staff harassing. and our clients, then I'm going to ask I'm you to being, leave. I'm being harassed. That's not harassing. She's not here to debate you, dude. What the fuck? Sir. You see this right here? You see this? Sir. Look at this. See that? Right there? That's for a child. Why are you promoting? Sir. Why are you promoting sir, homosexuality to, to children? Leave. Why are you doing that? It's sir, illegal. I'm Let's hear him talk about how this is a dub. Hi. I understand you guys have the, the tuck friendly uh, bathing suits. Is that right? I have no idea. Or that you don't know about those? No. You don't. You don't know about that? <laughs> Dude, she just works there on the fucking weekend. Like, that doesn't happen when you work at a place like this. You're not just, like, super aware of everything the company's doing on the promo side. Where are your bathing suits at? Women's. What did he say? Women's. <laughs> did he actually say women's? Dude, are you fucking kidding? Where are your bathing suits at? Women's. Okay, it's close. Women's. Women's. Can you help me clean this mess up? I mean, there's a whole... You can't listen. There's a whole section over here. Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be great. He's gonna go to the actual like women's bathing suit section where that bathing suit isn't there. Hi. Hi. You work here? I yeah, do. I take it. Yeah. You have a name badge. Are you a manager? No. No? Do you oh. need what do you need? Yeah, uh, no. uh do you guys have the tuck friendly women's bathing suits? You don't? Nope. That's good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Could you expect it to get any? Uh what shows up in the truck kind of just shows up. We don't have are like you, a... Are you expecting some? That's good, I respect. Did you get any? Like, she made a decision where she's like, no, we don't want that in our store. Yeah, but have you don't like have a... any of that transgender stuff in here, right? I have a pride section. Where's that at? It's in the front of the store. In the front of the store? It's a pride section? Mm -hmm. Did he miss it? That in and of itself is an L because they're so focused on on proving the point that they're trying to like, quote unquote, shove it down our throats, but he didn't see it. Okay, it doesn't have any of that stuff, huh? Okay. Yeah, because we heard the targets doing that and yeah, we don't do that in the zip code. Yo, what? We don't do that transgender stuff in this zip code. It sounds like a sundown community for like trans people. Like what the fuck? I just wanted to find out. I'll go check out your pride section. Okay. okay. You yeah, yeah. It? Yeah, it's not it's not very enjoyable. <laughs> He just continued. Okay, enjoy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not really enjoyable. I'm, you know, I hate to do this, but this is just my call to action to save people. Uh, are you listening? I mean, we gotta, we gotta stop Target from that woke card stuff. Right, ladies. Tar okay, what just came out of her mouth? Is she a baby? What the fuck was that? Target. I know she stopped herself from saying more, but like, I did not. That was one of the last things I expected. Right, ladies. Ta Target's putting out that that woke tard stuff, the tuck friendly. He's showing his absolute ability to come across like a normal human being. You guys seen that woke tard stuff, that transgender stuff? We don't do in the zip code. Are you recording right now? Absolutely. Yeah. You can stop. Yeah, okay. I, I can. I'm not used to record anything. Yeah, I do. Normally, I do. Especially with something as controversial as what I'm talking about. Because, I mean, we're going to shut you guys down if you guys put it out. You know that, right? Sound good? They don't give a fuck, man. They do not give a fuck, dude. Here we go. He's looking for the tuck bathing suit. Dude, the suspense. Yeah, my hair's actually super curly. Is there any, bro? 
Here, okay, the one thing, the one onesie that's still there for a toddler. Wait, it's just a t-shirt. It's too small. You made it a too small of a size, and they're thinking about dicks when they wear this at this size. Ma'am, ma'am, are you a manager? Well, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's for a child, so you're promoting uh, sexual, prideful thing for children. Is that correct? Is that correct? Sir? That's not, yeah. I'm so sorry, Are but... Are you a manager? I am, yes. What does it say? She what? What is that? <laughs> Here we go. Sexual pronouns. The, the, these are the pronouns that I use. Pronouns yes. that you use? Yes. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? He's like, I found the source. What's the, the definition of a woman? Sir. What is the definition sir, of a woman? Sir, if you're going to be harassing our it's staff harassing. and our clients, then I'm going to ask I'm you being, to leave. I'm being harassed. I'm being harassed. Walks into Target. Puts a camera in everyone's face. Ask them why they're doing this. Why are you doing this? I'm being harassed. <laughs> this is illegal to do. Sir, I'm going to Are you going to leave this? Are you going to leave this on the sir, on the shelf? Sir, I'm asking you to please leave. Are you going to leave it on the shelf? Sir, I'm going to ask you to please you remove yourself the from the store. I will. I'll leave. Thank, Thank you. you. Very much. Okay. Thank you, sir. We'll you be have back. A great day. We're going to protest you. You have a great day, sir. We're going to protest you. A lawful. Yes. He just keeps going. Sexualizing Sir, our children. I've asked you to leave. Could you please behalf, remove yourself from the store? On behalf of your she, her, hers. Thank you very much, Amanda. Bye. Have Take a care. wonderful day. Bye Sir. now. Yep. You guys are you guys are going to be shut down if you continue to do this. Sir, I'm it's gonna inappropriate. Ask you Thank you. I'm Thank leaving. You, Thank you. you. Bye bye. You too. Dude, he's totally going to stop once more. Where's our? Is she can't help himself, man. What did that shirt say that angered him anyways? The shirt said, BN proud. In his mind, it said, I love pee pee, and it was two penises intertwined. Where's, are, is she a manager, by the way? Is Amanda a manager? Yes, she is. She is, okay, good. Good, good, I found the manager. Okay, all right. The Forgiato Blow, Jimmy Levy music video. I feel like we should give it some more attention. So Benny Johnson, we saw him a moment ago, walking through Target. He's gonna help us to do that. So here we go. I said what, what, in the butt. 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 Oh my God, man. They just never grew up, dude. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Hope oh, my God, dude. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. I love his logo, too, man. Literally, where's Waldo? The most generic person ever. Hope you stay strapped because we are in the middle of a hot culture war and we're winning. Dude, and you wonder why you get on the fucking Nazi domestic terrorist watch list, bro. Like, this is proof that we are winning. This is Target's stock price falling off a cliff once the boycott was announced because Target is targeting those kids. He really feels like he has a line there, dude. Because Target is targeting those kids. Meanwhile, the rest of the stock market is out. Look at this. And you haven't even seen the worst of it yet. Because now the creatives are starting to get involved. The meme makers have got involved. Meme makers. Yeah, that's what we call Forgiato Blow and Nick Natoli. People are getting rowdy. And it's our boy, Forgiato Blow. Oh my God, our boy. Boycott Target. Boom. Baby. He dropped a uh, sizzling music video to this banger. Watch. Sizzling music video to this banger. This guy listens to hip hop a lot, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Attention all shoppers, attention all shoppers. Yeah. This guy, I'm pretty sure he's doing blackface. His name is Nick Natoli. He's got blonde dreads. They put a target on my back. Oh my God, the victim complex, dude. They put a target on my back. They don't even need to ask, cause you wanna know what it is. Yeah, that's why I keep a strap, and I'm always by my bed. Wait, what? So he can kill people who promote this? He's always staying strapped because of the pride collection at Target. This agenda gotta stop. Target, target, yeah, they target and target. You know we gonna win when they targeting? That doesn't even make sense. Target on my back, but they targeting your kids. They don't even need to ask. You all know what it is. Cause you all know what it is. Yeah, that's why I keep a strap. And I'm always by my bed. 
That's why I keep a strap and I'm always about my biz. Okay, it literally just sounds like he wants to kill anybody he perceives as woke. Like, I don't understand this beyond that. Target, target, yeah, they talk, you know the targets, they're wrong. Trying to play with the kids. It's the mayor of Megaville. I'm preaching the game. You know the LGBTQ to win too far. It's my alarm, it's one, it's one, if always trumping, baby. They put a target on my back. The point of his verse, literally, was just the gay people have gone too far. And then we go back to the chorus. You're targeting your kids. They don't even need to ask because you all know what it is. Yeah, that's why I keep a strap and I'm always by my bed. The chorus is just literally a call to violence. It's target, target, yeah, they target kids. You heard the new story, target, targeting kids. They going after our youth and yeah, they do it like this. If you ain't mad yet, well, then you better be pissed. <laughs> if you ain't mad yet, get mad. Got the boys tucking up by time here he goes here comes jimmy levy i dude that's, that's a little creepy wash the aisles with the blood of christ dating with a satanist we don't know this is the end god is coming for God is coming for revenge. Very godly, dude. Target is targeting they put a target on my back, but they're targeting your kids. They don't even need to ask, because you all know what it is. Yeah, that's why I keep a strap. I don't understand why he's buying so many tampons. I still don't get it. Target, target, yeah, they target and target. Really well done. I mean, they've really increased the production quality on these videos. Well done for Giotto. That's what we're looking at. That's the best part of it. They increased the production quality. That's the best thing we could say. We've also done uh, uh, some various work with Forgiato ourselves. We showed you his uh, truck. It's still one of our favorite videos we've ever done. This is what it looked like. Benny Johnson called him up like, can you show me the gangster lifestyle? I'm really curious. This is an actual song. It's the drum train. It's the drum train. Mega boy, I'm back. Yeah, the drum train. This beast. 45, that's all. This is his actual car. Hey, what's up, Patriots? Forge out of wood. Special thanks to Benny Johnson for showing y'all the truck. Got big truck 45, soon to be big truck 47. So the Bitcoin tires on there, B for blow, Forge out of blow. So that's part of my logo. Bitcoin tires on there? B for Forge out of blow? You just, you mean B for Bitcoin. So that's part of my logo. So we got Trump coming in on a tank. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Man, this is what taste looks like. Okay, this is what sophistication looks like. All right. Let's see what it is. We got the mayor of Magaville on the side, me and Trump right there in the photo booth. Trump's coming back, baby. Yeah, this is Trump's sex doll that he just takes so yeah, this everywhere. Is, uh, we are supposed to cre uh, create and to support other creators in the space. Big fans of Forgiato and uh, what he's putting down. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, what he is creating, what we are creating is an alternative media. That is more powerful, actually, than the corporate... Okay, thing. cope it up, dude. Legacy press that is dying and withering on the vine. More powerful because they give you magical obelisks imbued with that, <laughs> with that right-wing energy, man, with that free speech energy. It's the false choice that the left gives you, that you either side with them or you're some type of ism. Nah, man, no. We're going to destroy that, and we're going to do it with you. Like, share, and subscribe. It's your boy, Benny. See ya. Man, who's like sharing and subscribing after that one? What a banger. Benny Johnson. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, the Matt Walsh baby doll. Forgot about that. Speaking of grooming. <laughs> okay.